so chicken butchery, we have a whole uh, bird here. This is actually a guinea fowl. Um, the advantage of buying this whole and preparing it yourself is that it's often cheaper, but also it will stay fresher for longer. So first of all, you have to understand the anatomy of the chicken. So this is, or the guinea fowl, this is the chicken in life. So we've got the tail here, the legs and the wings, and this is the head and the neck. So there's often a little bit of neck left over. And hopefully for some recipes, you want some skin here as well. So we always tackle the bird uh, with the tail away. So the head end towards you. Um, and it's important to remember also about cross-contamination. So there is the potential here for salmonella, which is particularly under the skin and in the fat. Okay, so um, cross-contamination, uh, touching anything that's, that's not gonna be cooked uh, would be uh, not advised. There's also uh, Compilobacter on raw poultry like this. So that's a combination of germs. So you have to be quite careful. So the precaution you have to take essentially is that any board or knife uh, that co comes into contact with this needs to be washed straight after. Also, not wiping your hands on your apron or your cloth and also having sanitizer and a hand wash area for preparation. So this is high risk food and it needs to be um, dealt with carefully. So in terms of the butchery, what we're looking to do here is take off both of the breasts and also both of the legs. The first thing you want to do in fact to make it easier to remove all of the breast meat from here is to remove the wishbone. So this is essentially the collarbone. It's in a V shape. And as with most butchery, um, there's a little fat line that sits on top of bones uh, and divides the muscles. So you can see quite clearly here where the wishbone is. And it's just a case of cutting underneath and also on the top and then just removing that bone. It's just fused at the top. So it can be a little bit tricky to break off. So there it is there, just that V-shape bone. Always just replace the skin as well. So make sure you've got an even covering. We don't actually need uh, the skin in this recipe, but um, just make sure it's completely even before you start cutting. And then on a guinea fowl, which is very similar to a pheasant, it's much more bony, so it's less plump. So it's quite easy to see where the first cut needs to be. The, what you want to do is just cut on one side of the breastbone, all the way down. And then where you've removed the wishbone, the knife comes off on the bottom, just sweeping away. What we want to do from the, from the, the breast plate is just almost scrape it down. We're just going to cut by the leg there just to give us a little bit more room. And then you'll get down to the wing and we can actually cut it off with the wing attached. Okay, so at the wing point here, there's a little ball and socket joint which you can just cut through. Okay, so that's the, the breast with the wing attached. And the fillet 
has just fallen off, which is fine. So let's just tackle this leg. So what you want to do is just make that little cut through and then put your finger on the thigh bone and just pop the joint all the way through. So a little bit attached here, so we'll just cut that through. And then what you want to do, it's really important actually to make sure that the thigh is big enough, is just capture this little bit of meat here, which is known as the oyster. And the, the best way to do this is just use a little bit of gravity. So just come underneath, make sure you dig down into the oyster. Once you've come round the oyster, you can turn it around this way. The ball and socket joint is already released. You want to cut in between there. And then angle the knife down just to make sure you capture all of the flesh. So the sign that this is done well is if you have this kind of heart shape here. So that's the oyster in there. So that's the leg. So we'll do this <clears throat> with the other side. So just separate the leg first of all. The second side, you know, it's slightly harder because there's nothing on here to support it. But the same technique, so cut alongside the breastbone, down the bottom of the breast, and then scrape this away. When you get down to the wing, just find where the ball and socket joint is. So you're not cutting through any bone, you're just releasing the ball and socket joint. And you've got the same situation there. So if this is trimmed up, it's known as a chicken supreme, which is quite a nice French cut. So two of those. The same with the, the leg on the other side. So release it, just use a little bit of gravity, come underneath, capture the oyster, which is just here. And then through that ball and socket joint, angle the knife down and come off. So you've got this heart shape here. So this is obviously great for stock, um, perfect for stock. If you're not going to use it in the first instance, you can cut it up into pieces and freeze it. The preparation after that is to decide whether you want the wing bone attached. I'll just show you a quick chicken supreme. So take off the two wing tips. Again, use that for stock. If you pinch above the bone and then below the bone, and then just with the heel of the knife, not cutting through any bone, but just cutting through the gristle. And we'll just do a little bit of trimming. It's often a little fatty part just here. Just trim that up. You can just take off any extra fat. And that is a lovely portion for pan frying. For this particular recipe, we're not looking to have any bone. So in that instance, you can just cut straight through the ball and socket joint, take off the wing and use that for your stock. And we also want to remove the skin on this. Which is a shame because it looks really nice. 
Okay. We tend to take off the fillet as well. And having removed the wing bone, there's often a little bit of sinew just in here, particularly on things like duck. Just want to remove that sinew, which is quite chewy. Okay, so we've got the breast and the fillet. We'll do the same with this one. So it's a little bit clearer here. So just the sinew part there, which is where the wing is attached. And then the skin. So all of the trimmings can be used for stock, apart from the skin. And then if we have a look at the legs, so you can keep the skin on or take it off. Um, in terms of stock, this part of the foot here is really, really good for stock. It's very gelatinous. There's a very, very tight ball and socket joint up here. So just find where it meets and trim it off. Again, you shouldn't have to cut through any bone. So it's quite tight. If you struggle, just wiggle it and make sure you're cutting between the bone. And then to divide these into drumstick and thigh, on the underside of the bird, you've got another fat line here, which tells you exactly where that ball and socket joint is. So knife on top, And again, it should just cut straight through. So we're just slightly off on that one. Just make sure, just by wiggling it, that you're in the right place. There we go. So we've got four dark portions, dark meat, and then we've got the two white portions, the two breast fillets. There we go.